Encore une fois, un moment important. Uh, so again, uh, this is a highlight for our project, and we are longing to see more and hear more. I mean, seeing the, these for, uh, first sights uh, is really uh, wetting our appetites uh, for using them. So uh, we we look forward to 2015 to start using them. So before we really uh, delve into another facet of the use of uh, the sites, the programs addresses that will allow you to uh, assess them and also uh, register these addresses, an important part of the ecosystem that will develop around this new technology. First, therefore, we shall uh, follow Tom McKenzie, who is going to join us on stage to uh, hear about the overall ecosystem of the Internet Governance OB3FT is increasingly, as Tom is going to tell us, involved in this ecosystem. And in particular today, uh, within ICANN, which is the technical uh, regulator for naming and addressing on the internet, uh, California law uh, uh, body under the California law, but increasingly international, it's got three major missions. First, uh, IP addresses, the domain names, the domain, and the technical protocols that are related to these two uh, considerations of naming and addressing. So ICANN is a body that has been in existence since 1998 and has, in particular, allowed OP3FT to fully secure its technology by uh, obtaining the DOT province uh, extension, which is the first level extension, that is, a naming uh, space that is placed at the same level as the .com or the .org that we all know, and which is uh, now active on the internet and will be used as uh, support to secure um, this uh, technology. Oh. Uh, before we speak English, um, uh, Stefan uh, will be uh, questioning Tom. But I think you have been uh, given headsets for the translation into French, if needed. And uh, we uh, trust our interpreters uh, to be uh, able to render a French uh, version of the uh, exchange between Tom and Stefan, which will be uh, conducted in English. So, uh, a few seconds. Monsieur Emmanuel, en effet, on va continuer en anglais. Donc, prenez vos casques si vous ne pas déjà fait. Um, Frogans is uh, an international technology, and it's an international project. So um, we do want to have uh, presentations in both French and English at these technology conferences. Uh, and we will be having several presentations in English tonight. The uh, first one uh, that we're going to have is Tom's uh, presentation on the work that uh, OP3FT is doing within the ICANN and the internet governance environment. So um, it's an important part of uh, developing a new technology. Obviously, it's not something that uh, uh, you want to do uh, by yourself in a silo without uh, uh, meeting, talking, uh, um, having contacts with other people. So uh, that's an important part of Tom's job. Tom is head of stakeholder relations at the OP3FT, and uh, uh, he is very much involved in the work that uh, uh, the OP3FT does at, uh, uh, at ICANN. I believe you have a presentation, Tom, but uh, let me uh, give you an opportunity to introduce yourself first. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Stefan. And actually, I'm still completely uh, overwhelmed by that demonstration that we just had a, a few moments ago uh, of the uh, uh, Frogans player. Um, uh, and I really give out, can give absolutely, really very few uh, guarantees as to the, uh, what I'm going to say from now on, because uh, I've been waiting for this moment for the past year. Uh, this is going to completely change my life. Uh, and. Uh, so, uh, Jérôme, why didn't you warn me? Uh, <laughs> I'm pulling yourself together, Tom. <laughs>
Okay, so if we can start uh, the Tom's presentation, give him time to catch his breath. Yeah, so uh, to start with, um, I think I'm just going to take you back. I'm going to rewind uh, 12 months uh, to pretty much 12 months to the day, to the time when I started working uh, at the OP3FT. Um, I was contacted a little bit when did he start? Okay. Uh, so when I came on board, I was contacted uh, out of the blue to uh, join uh, the OP3FT. Um, and I must admit that uh, the, what I was motivated by uh, when I joined were several things. Uh, on one hand, there was the excitement of uh, joining a team uh, who had been a multi-million euro funded 14-year project um, of, uh, engineer, uh, made up of engineers who have been developing a new internet layer, uh, no less, a new layer which to be uh, put onto the internet, no less. Um, this was the challenge. Um, uh, but, so, that was what drove me to join. But on the other hand, I was also, I had some kind of apprehension in the back of my mind because uh, when, before joining, I kind of went onto the web uh, to see what I could find out about this project and there was really very little out there or very little that I could find. And when, uh, but perhaps it was just in my nature to join uh, the team and so I jumped on board uh, and when I uh, started working, what I very quickly realized was that uh, these, this was a team, the OP3FT was a team of engineers, very bright engineers who had concentrated 100% of their resources onto the uh, R&D development of this platform, this platform for the publication of a new kind of site on the internet. And they had not concentrated very much, if any, of their effort, energies, onto the promotion or what we might call, or what I call, reaching out to the ecosystem, the actors of the internet ecosystem. Um. Yeah, uh, an important part, just to, to cut in there, um, what you're saying is also an important part of the project itself, because uh, as I mentioned earlier on, ICANN and the new GTLD program have added a lot uh, to the project. So, um, just going back over those past 12 months, uh, uh, can you just take us through the work that you did? We, we're seeing a map of the past four ICANN meetings, um, and that shows you the spread of, geographically, the spread of work that you've done, but perhaps you can go into a little bit more detail about what happens at an ICANN meeting and why it's important uh, for the OP3FT. Okay, well, very quickly, um when we started uh, working together, and I'm not uh, working alone uh, in the business of uh, stakeholder relations, I was working with Romuald Huon, uh, who is also very much engaged in this, and increasingly with uh, Jean-Emmanuel. Uh, what we had to do was define uh, the uh, various actors of the ecosystem, and then work out where it is that they meet. And of course, there are lots of places where um, uh, the actors of the internet ecosystem meet, but one of very, um, one of the kind of central places around the world is ICANN. ICANN, uh, uh, which meets three times a year. And so very quickly, um, we uh, decided to set a priority on attending ICANN meetings. And you can see that uh, in November uh, 2013, we attended the meeting in Buenos Aires. A few months later, in March, we were in Singapore. And then in June, we were in London, and in, a, in about a 10 days' time, we shall be attending the meeting in, in Los Angeles. So you, you're basically on holiday all the time. <laughs> well, you can put it that way. Um, it'll, feel, it'll feel a lot more like a holiday now that I actually have a demo uh, to show people when I turn up at these meetings. Uh, I, I feel I could be a lot more relaxed uh, now. So joking aside, perhaps we can move on to the next slide, and you can tell us a little bit about the way ICANN works. There's a, as you can see in this, uh, this is an ICANN slide, and uh, it, it's an attempt to show 
the interactions between the different groups. So perhaps you can just slide over that, uh, pun intended, and um, tell us a bit more about that. Right. I mean, this is a, uh, a complex-looking slide, uh, the aim of which is to explain what we are talking about when we are talking about Internet governance. Um, for most people, we are here. Most Internet users are here. And they uh, go onto the Internet, whether it is on a laptop or on a desktop computer, completely unaware that there are is anything going on uh, at a uh, higher sort of governance level. For them, for the vast 99% of internet users, it just works. The internet is just there. However, what uh, we have found, or what has, seen, has uh, happened over the years, is that groups of people, groups of uh, stakeholders in how the internet functions have self-organized. This is this movement here. They have, uh, and in those groups, we can uh, include lawyers, technical communities, developers, uh, representatives of national governments, and all these people come together and um, form what we can sort of very generally call uh, an internet, a multi-stakeholder internet governance model. This is something, the multi-stakeholder model is something which is uh, uh, much discussed at the moment. Uh, and uh, it is the model, it is, an, it is a model, uh, it is a form of governments uh, uh, in which we feel it is necessary to participate. Now, um, oh, I thought you'd finished. Please carry on. Uh, actually, if you've got a... Is it, Anybody's got a glass of water. That would be good in a minute. <laughs> we get a glass of water for Tom, please. And whilst uh, you're parched and unable to speak, I'm never parched and unable <laughs> to speak, so I'll carry on. Um, ju just to highlight that, that ICANN is a unique experiment in governance. I think it's important to say that the multi-stakeholder model uh, is one that uh, is an attempt to give everyone a voice, but no one a voice that is louder than anyone else. So everyone gets an equal voice. And actually, to be honest, this, this slide doesn't show that as well as it could. But uh, all the participants in the model that you've just described, Tom, fr from governments to private sector, uh, social, uh, uh, civil society, um, academia, whatever, they are all able to participate uh, in this model with an equal voice. So for a project like uh, Frogans and uh, uh, for an, uh, an entity like OP3FT, there's a certainty of being able to participate in these discussions which are a core, uh, sometimes uh, hardcore technical discussions with an equal footing. I think that's a, an important part yeah. and it's something that you've certainly taken advantage of when you're meeting with other stakeholders. Right. Uh, I think uh, what this um, shows as well, this illustration shows, is two things. I mean, it shows a process. It shows a process whereby uh, different groups slowly become involved in what we call the internet, the governance of the internet, internet governance. Um, it also shows a set of principles, uh, a set of principles for which uh, uh, ICANN stands, uh, like having a single... Uh, interoperable internet, stable and which is stable and secure, and these uh, are so. What we share at the OP3FT, what we have found interesting at the OP3FT, is we share both the vision of the process in which people become involved in uh, internet governance, but we also share the principles uh, on which uh, I can. Uh, is based. And so, and here, well, I mean, uh, when you have time to look at the details of this illustration, you'll see that the, these principles are of security and stability of the DNS, competition and choice, that is uh, the registrars that are involved, uh, and the multi-stakeholder model. Uh, that's really um, uh, all that I wanted to say about this illustration. The only thing that uh, I just might add is that 
one principle, which is the principle of interoperability, is perhaps one of the more interesting uh, ones. It's, it's one of the smaller ones, but interesting ones to point out, because it says that ICANN's work also enables new technologies to flourish while maintaining interoperability, interoperability and uh, access to the global internet. And I think this is precisely where a project like the, uh, the Frogans project uh, comes in. And it is one of the reasons why we are taking part uh, in uh, these discussions. Right, so if we go a little bit more in detail, and don't worry, by the way, I can never pronounce operability as well. Um, um, I think you're a brave man for attempting it. But um, if we go into the uh, detail of recent uh, ICANN meeting OP3 FT participation, and specifically the London meeting, um, Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more uh, about that meeting, because I believe it was unique, or certainly a step forward, uh, for the OP3FT involvement efforts uh, with direct uh, participation um, from the co-founders uh, and others involved in the project uh, addressing specific groups. Right. I think, yeah, we have a slide there. Yeah, no, the uh, ICANN um, 50 meeting in London uh, really was uh, exceptional in many respects. Uh, it was, well, the 50th ICANN meeting, which in itself was a, uh, quite an event. Um, and for us, uh, it uh, was the third, well, uh, since I've been at the OP3FT, it was the third uh, ICANN meeting that we have participated in, and it was by it was easily the event which was um, uh, in which the most members of the OP3 FT participated. I think in all our group, eight of us uh, participated, representing the technical, the developers at ICANN at uh, the OP3 FT, the legal community, the communications uh, department, and of course uh, the co-inventors, the two co-inventors, uh, Alexi and Amori. Uh, were also present. Um, and so we uh, covered the ground uh, very widely. Uh, and it was uh, an opportunity for us to meet uh, simultaneously lots of the different uh, groups uh, uh, that are talking continuously uh, in these meetings. And so uh, the first uh, presentation, major uh, presentation, uh, that we gave during this meeting was given by Alexis Tamas, and it was given in the uh, concluding part of a plenary session of the Governmental Advisory Committee. Now, the Governmental Advisory Committee is a very important part of the ICANN system, uh, and it uh, brings together the representatives of the national governments that have a major stake, obviously, in uh, the security and stability of the, uh, of the, of, of the internet. Um, and so we took this opportunity to give a presentation of the Frogans project. And uh, it was an opportunity for us to um, convey uh, the several sort of key messages, which are that um, the Frogans project is being deployed in a manner that is entirely uh, uh, consistent with uh, national laws, uh, that, um, for example, at the content level, um, uh, we, uh, uh, Frogan's publishers, uh, publishers of Frogan's sites will have a responsibility of making sure that their content is always uh, uh, acceptable within different na national legislations. Um, we also wanted to make sure, we conveyed the message that uh, the Frogans project is being de deployed in a manner which is entirely consistent with the principles on which ICANN is based, just to go back to what I was saying a little bit earlier, uh, of uh, resiliency, of the stability and security of a single interoperable internet. Um, and it was uh, also an opportunity to say that this uh, new groundbreaking technology includes a Unicode based uh, addressing system which will uh, allow uh, different, uh, the users of different scripts uh, to type in addresses in their own language. So it was, uh, it's, a very, it's a project which is being deployed in a very international uh, manner. 
Uh, and finally, uh, it was uh, an opportunity. We invited um, uh, the representatives who were, uh, who were there uh, to... Um, uh, to uh, w we told them about uh, an initiative, an ongoing initiative we have to uh, establish uh, centers of excellence or of research in universities around the world who will uh, provide uh, uh, feedback. Uh, we, will be, we will establish an exchange with these centers and they will provide feedback to us on uh, the development of the technology. So uh, it was uh, in a sense to explain that we are clearly uh, driven uh, by uh, this idea of uh, developing the technology in a very sort of reciprocal uh, uh, way, manner. There's a lot there. Um, perhaps just to explain to people that don't know about ICANN meetings, um, that these meetings last for about a week. Uh, the one in London was the uh, uh, record breaker in terms of attendance with more than 3,000 people. So um, you are talking about major events that... Uh, are becoming actually uh, economically important because when you have 3,000 people um, all converging onto a, uh, a city, be it London, Los Angeles or wherever, uh, you're starting to have a lot of uh, economic potential. So these meetings are important uh, in their own right. Uh, they're also important, as, as, as Tom's just hi highlighted, um, for us at OP3FT in terms of showing that we are fitting in with what exists today. Um, the idea that, uh, uh, for example, we are uh, aligned with ICANN's principles is the same idea uh, when you look at the technology uh, and the way it inserts itself into the internet today so that both developers and users will not have to learn uh, a, a whole new um, either a way of doing things if they're users or way of programming things if they're developers. But uh, it's a continuation of what exists. And that's also what makes the uh, technology uh, rich and interesting. And that's one message that uh, um, I gave at the uh, ICANN 50 meeting to uh, the Registrar Stakeholder Group, which is a, a group that is, uh, as its name implies, um, composed of registrars. These are the people that sell domain names that allow uh, anyone to register uh, a domain name. And these are also important stakeholders for uh, the fragrance technology because, as, been, as has been highlighted already, um, that technology will mimic, as it were, what exists in the domain ecosystem with its own addresses, trying to do different things, but not trying to reinvent the wheel in the way these addresses are distributed. So it's important for us to both uh, liaise with these people and, and hear from them, uh, have their feedback on what they think about what we're presenting and the way we're going about it. So that's one of the things that I was there to do in ICANN 50. Um, there's me looking all serious. I'm sure you can see it in the top photo. Um, and there's uh, programs on the program. So we're actually both proud and, and, and happy to be able to participate in these, uh, in these meetings and to be able to share with others that don't know, don't have a prior knowledge of the technology to share with them what we're trying to do. Um, but as I was mentioning earlier on, Tom, you're, it's not all hard work, is it? You're, I mean, you are there on holiday most of the time. And That's right. if you're not on holiday, you're attending parties, aren't you? So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about that. So here we are at the party. Um, uh, yes, no, I mean, ICANN meetings uh, are partly about uh, attending very, the very, two very serious meetings that we've just uh, presented. And it's also in, in quite significant part about uh, summoning up the energy to attend uh, as many parties as you can, lining up as many invitations to as many parties as you can throughout the week and one party that's become a real feature of uh, ICANN parties in of ICANN meetings ooh, yeah, funny slip of the tongue there but um, uh, ICANN meetings in recent uh, 
uh, years, is the Afnique uh, party, French night, as it's called. And uh, we were very pleased to be able to participate. Of course, Afnique is also uh, a major partner uh, of the Fregans project. And so there we are. And in fact, if you look at these, if you can see these, uh, the faces on these pictures uh, at the bottom, you can recognize uh, many uh, people who've uh, had some input into the uh, Fregans project, including uh, our cher uh, ambassadeur uh, himself and uh, Jean-Emmanuel, uh, Jean just down here. So yeah, there is some fun as well. And the, the fun is actually an important part of the meeting. It's one of the people that, that maybe it's not clear, um, but that does feature on these photographs here is Axel Le Maire, who is the, uh, uh, minister, the deputy minister for, for the digital economy in France at the moment. And um, um, you have here some uh, uh, AFNIC and government uh, representatives. So uh, it's also, uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, we're obviously all enjoying ourselves a great deal at these things, it is also an important uh, opportunity, isn't it, Tom, to be able to engage once again with key stakeholders and people that we can explain the technology to and get feedback from. Absolutely. I mean, uh, oops. Um, no, I mean, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a fun part. It's, uh, it's always nicer to be able to uh, talk about the project. Sometimes it's easier to talk about the project with a glass of, uh, of wine uh, in, in the hand. And uh, so, no, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, a key part of the stakeholder uh, and building business. So uh, just to close off this uh, 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 rapid overview of what we do at ICANN and what it is that you're involved in, um, perhaps we can look to the future uh, and, and start by just looking at the arbitration centers that I believe the ICANN meetings have allowed you also to meet and to be able to uh, uh, talk to them and explain what we're doing and have them come on board. Perhaps you can just tell us a little bit about that. Okay. I mean, just briefly, just to finish off, um, the Frugans project is a project which is being developed and rolled out on many levels at the same time. And so when we take part in uh, meetings like ICANN, what we're doing is we're meeting people who correspond to all the different levels on, at which we're working on the, on the technology. Uh, at one level, uh, one very key level, um, uh, which is the, dispute resolu the resolution of disputes to do with uh, Frogan's addresses, uh, it was important for us to meet uh, and uh, engage in a discussion with the main arbitration uh, centers, the dispute resolution arbitration centers. Um, and these are the five uh, ICANN accredited uh, arbitration centers, and uh, we are currently in discussion with all of them. And uh, as you will see a bit later in the program, we even have uh, two exclusive uh, presentations uh, given uh, by the representatives of the uh, National Arbitration Forum and the uh, ADN DRC, of course. Um, and, well, I might just add that uh, in this vein uh, that um, we also, during ICANN London, uh, met uh, the representatives of a very important group uh, of researchers who are working on the international domain names, uh, the IDNs, uh, and we have started a very constructive dialogue uh, with them, um, notably uh, regarding the uh, the Frogans, uh, the Unicode-based Frogans addressing system. And when we attend the uh, meeting, the ICANN meeting in Los Angeles in a, just over a week's time, uh, we shall be pursuing uh, this uh, discussion which we started, we have started with them over the past um, months. To, just to add to that, to, to point out that that's an interesting one in itself because it's one where people that have been working on uh, this type of thing for a long time have looked at what we're doing with great interest because we're uh, doing something that they haven't been able to do. Uh, the program's uh, addresses are uh, by design international. That's not the case for domain names, which is why you need IDNs, internationalized domain names, because that technology, the technology that enables people to type in their own natural language and scripts, 
uh, in uh, the uh, address bar of their web browsers. That technology did not exist at the start of the web, and it's um, built in to Frogan sites. Exactly. No, I mean, uh, we are, you know, we're currently, we have um, published uh, the IFAP, uh, the International Frogan's Address Pattern uh, Technical Specification, uh, earlier this summer, and uh, we are currently uh, finalizing uh, work on uh, a follow-up, a sort of sister uh, technical specification, FACR, just for the acronym. Uh, but um, uh, this work is one of the most exciting things, I think, to do with the Frogans uh, project. And uh, when I think the uh, ICANN uh, community, or the community of researchers, uh, that uh, working on this uh, IDN group and on the, uh, the DNS addressing systems will be very uh, interested. And in fact, they've already expressed huge interest uh, in, in this work that uh, is, is ongoing at, at Frogans. If we pull this one off, uh, it'll be a very big part of the success story of this uh, technology. Tom, thank you very much for coming up here and giving us an overview uh, of your work uh, in the ICANN community specifically. Before I let you go, perhaps uh, we can once again open it up for questions, uh, um, uh, obviously, uh, both in English and French. You do understand French, don't you? Okay. It's okay. So if there are any questions, please uh, raise your hands. I actually can't see anything, so I have to come down. There's got to be at least one, otherwise um, we'll just stop there. Uh, I understand there's a registry stakeholder group at ICANN, yeah, and uh, that with Dot Frogan's OP3FT is now a um, a registry. Are is the OP3FT interested in, in partaking in that uh, aspect of the internet governance? Absolutely. Um, and in fact, I think uh, Stefan is probably a better place to, uh, to talk about that because they have uh, been in discussions, I know, with the uh, uh, registry, the representatives of the registry stakeholder group, uh, in view of uh, becoming a member, uh, as, as far as I understand. But I sh should uh, hand over, defer to you to explain the uh, details. Yeah, Joe, thanks a lot. Very good question. Um, uh, there is, uh, just as I explained that we were talking to the registrar stakeholder group, there's the equivalent, there's an equivalent group for the registries. The registries being uh, the people or the entities are in charge of handling and managing uh, a TLD, a top level domain, not selling it to the public, not allowing the public to register domain names directly. That's done through registrars, but they are one step above uh, the ladder if you will, and uh, by becoming, by uh, operating dot .frogans, uh, OP3FT has become a registry. Uh, just last week or the week before that, um, myself and Julie Laurent, our chief counsel, uh, have joined uh, the registry stakeholder group on behalf of OP3FT, so it's very new for us. But uh, we are involved and we are intending, once again, it's done in the same spirit as what we've described here, which is engagement, basically. Engagement with stakeholders, making sure people know about what we're doing and we understand what their issues or their reaction to the technology might be. Any more questions? The Frogans project is a French project, and how has Excel Le Maire or any other representatives of the French government uh, feel about this French project? Uh, I didn't actually have the opportunity directly to present uh, the uh, project to Excel Le Maire, uh, but we have uh, spoken to all the representatives of. Uh, the uh, Ministère du Redressement Productif uh, and uh, the Ministère des the Foreign Affairs, des Affaires étrangères, uh, who are uh, regular participants in uh, ICANN meetings. And in, on both uh, those, uh, from both of those uh, ministries, there is a very considerable interest uh, for this technology, very genuine interest. It's also, we, uh, these are discussions which don't just take place during ICANN meetings. Um, they are discussions that which we have pursued since. Uh, and uh, the representative of the, uh, 
Minister of the equivalent of the Ministry of the Interior uh, has uh, had uh, meetings actually uh, at the U, uh, OP3FT uh, to uh, discuss this project. So um, I think uh, I would just to sort of summarize, uh, there is, um, France is sometimes accused, accused uh, of being a little bit sort of lagging behind in terms of innovation. But here, uh, I really feel that, uh, as, at least as far as the government is concerned, that uh, I, all I have felt uh, is a positive uh, uh, reaction, a positive, a, a genuine interest uh, in what is being developed. Uh, and, so, and they are in very interested, as far as I can tell, to see how things go, I mean, to yeah. see the deployment of the project. And just, uh, my job as programs ambassador does involve as well talking to uh, governmental representatives, so we are actively uh, uh, doing that, and uh, as you say, uh, in a positive way. Tom, thank you very much for explaining all this to us. And I... Thank you again, and I will hand it back to Jean Manuel to... Uh, uh, continue with the next presentation and switch back to French. Thank you so much, gentlemen. You can now remove your headsets and I will switch back to French. That was great. Thank you, Tom. Let me seize the opportunity to say that I really appreciated the, this ICANN 50 where I, which I attended in charge of knowledge sharing, where I had the pleasure of presenting Forgan's technology to some stakeholders, as we said.